So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the cover block. Now, instantly the cover block allows us to give it even a background color just by uh, after selecting it. The cover block can actually be changed by selecting the block here and then we can choose whether we want it to be uh, a gradient of some sort or we want it to be a solid color which is just a green. Uh, for now I'll leave it as a gradient to allow me to use it uh, in a different way. So gradient, we do have a gradient there. And so we can choose to add a text and say this is going to be an image of something. And for the text we've chosen we can of course center it or right align it, make it bold, italicize if need be. And so we have already added content to our paragraph in our cover block. Now cover blocks are usually images that you see on the front page and it's just a big image with a little text over there. Uh, it's not scrolling in any case, but we can make it full width for example, or we can choose to say we want it to be wide. So I'll, I'll go for full width, that's okay. And so from here I am able to edit it and say I'm going to add an image and this is the image that I want to showcase. So we'll see that our cover image actually is working well. It has a nice image in the background. It's fully blown out. And then we are using an overlay. And if you look at the overlays, that's what they're doing. They just add a front color to it. And this is becoming really rich uh, for me. So we see that there is color to it, but if we don't want to affect the image so much, we can reduce the opacity of the overlay. The overlay intentionally is helping us to make our text stand out here, but I'm also I'm also enjoying that richness of color that's added by the by the gradient background. So if we do this, you'll see that it's ah, it's just coming out neatly. So we can change the opacity, we can change the color here. We can change also the dimension and say we want it to be a minimum of 200 pixels in terms of height, or we can say we're going to have 600 pixels and it's really big. So 400 will do right now. Now, if you remember, if you watch the video with the image, I was trying to do the same thing with the image, but it doesn't quite, quite cut it. So using a, a block like the cover block makes it even better and easier for us to maybe pick out a small piece of information that we are enjoying and then increase its uh, its font size and just say maybe this is what we are looking for, this is our company, um, we're enjoying that so we also have the overlay, we've, we've done that and we've horizontally uh, placed it, maybe we want to see more of the old lady moving you'll see we have that. And as we move it vertically, we'll move it down, up. We want to see just the head of the old lady. And then we have that working out. So we want to see that, that is brilliant, brilliantly done. And then we can choose to either have this fixed so that uh, uh, I'll just update this to show you the effect that comes out of it. So if we go and reload our page here, you realize now it's fixed so that as we move over our content that image is there but it just has a nice parallax feel to it. It's just overlaid and this is by default coming out of Gutenberg in uh, the block editor. So we can have that fixed or if we choose to say oh, no it shouldn't be fixed, just unclick that, save, reload our page here. So as we scroll, of course our image will go with our text, but nothing beats the feel of parallax in there. It gives it a little animation, uh, animation to it, and your users are able to be wowed by just the change of the content coming in. We had still information here, but now we are having something that is changing. So that's brilliantly done. I love the, the cover block, it's one of my best blocks there is. So thank you for watching. In our next video we'll be looking at a different block. 
shall be looking at the table block.